Hello guys, I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is by use exam prep. So in this session of ground zero series, we are going to talk about the testing of mechanical or you can say testing of properties. So we have already seen the tensile test in the very first session of the ground zero series. So today we are going to conclude it with the hardness and toughness testing. So when we are talking about the hardness, first of all, you must be aware of that what hardness is. Hardness is defined as the resistance to indentation or scratches. So in the childhood, if you remember, you were taking a rubber eraser and you were just taking the pencil and you were try to indent the pencil into the rubber. And it was easily um, happening. The reason is rubber was soft and pencil was hard. If the same thing would be done with the wall, and you take the pencil and try to indent it onto the wall. It will not be possible because wall is harder than the pencil. So guys, the point is always harder things indent into the softer things. That is why we are going to define hardness like that. One more way is hardness is said to be the resistance to the scratches. So whenever you are going to take, let us say your nail is there, you try to just pass it from the skin, you will get some kind of scratch. So because skin is softer, if you try the same thing onto the wall or some hard thing, the scratch will come onto the nail, not on that body. So guys, for hardness, there are a number of tests which are done, like Rockwell, like Bridel, like Wicker, like Shore, uh, Shore Cellar Scope is there. So loop test is there. Whatever the test of hardness are there, they are using the same principle. So first of all, I will show you with the animation that how the hardness tests are being done. Like, let us say, if you want to uh, do the hardness test, we are going to take a workpiece and we are going to take an indenter. Like, in our case, pencil was indenter. So, you will take a surface whose hardness is to be measured. Then you will take an indenter. That indenter may be of steel ball type of shape. Maybe some uh, diamond cone indenter can be there. That, based on the test you are using, the indenter shape will change. Okay. So when you will be having the indenter, that indenter will be pressing the surface and you will be applying some load. But the point is you need to take care of the time. The load will be applied onto the surface for a particular time. Because when we are comparing two, three surface, you need to keep something to be constant only. Then only you will be able to measure the hardness. Otherwise, if for one surface, you will keep the force for more time, obviously your indentation will be more. So when you will be applying the force onto the surface and you will be applying this for some particular time, then in that first time, we will check what is the indentation happening in the uh, workpiece. And based on that, we will have a formula uh, which will help us to give the hardness value and by which we can compare that which surface is more harder, which is going to be lesser harder. So this is about the hardness test. So now we will talk about the toughness test. So, you know, toughness is a property which tells us about the energy absorption capacity of a material before the fracture takes place. So, for that, we are going to have two types of test. One is i jode, other is char p. In both the tests, the difference is only with how you are placing the workpiece. For that, we are having a specific size of workpiece and we are going to provide a notch onto the workpiece because we want particularly failure must occur there. Then we are going to put it either at, as a cantilever or as a simply supported beam. If you are placing it as a cantilever, we will call it as i test. If we are placing it as a simply supported beam, we will call it as a charpy test. And in both the case, we are going to take a hammer from a height, we will be releasing it. And when this hammer will be going on and it is going to fracture the element, it will be going up to a certain height. So we will see the height uh, difference at which we started the test at which it is going after fr fracturing the component that difference of height will tell us how much energy that hammer have lost because at first height it would be having some potential energy at second height it would be having some potential energy that loss of energy is absorbed by the component neglecting the air resistance and all so we can say that will be the toughness amount that energy is said to be the toughness okay so guys uh, this is how the hardness and toughness testing are performed so by uh, using these kind of why i have talked about these tests 
because generally students do not have the idea how the tests are performed because generally we are not very much serious in the labs when we go into so for that purpose only this session was kept so that you get uh, uh, information and also clarity how the tests are performed so goodbye for this session guys